Alright guys, I think it's time to show you what I would argue with anyone is the best bunch defense in Madden 22. This is a three-man pressure that is going to basically guarantee yourself pressure against the gun bunch formation. This is really one of the main reasons as to why I have shifted to running the big nickel over G. It doesn't matter if they block seven, you're going to get pressure against bunch. This blitz is also really good against anything that is not play action. There is a way to run this against trips tight end, but we'll teach that in the ebook. But primarily this is a blitz. If they are not running play action, um, I would just say this is the best blitz in the game. I think this is one of the top, top blitzes because of the disengage concept attached to it, the coverage principles you can do from it, all of the other things encompassed into this formation, and um, like I said, the fact that we're gonna have probably one, potentially two people coming free at the quarterback every single time. Um, this blitz is incredible against escape artists. It's really good against post-ups. It's really good against people that aren't running escape artists. This has been my favorite and my go-to defense against Gun Bunch, and I've had a ton of success with it. So really excited to share this with you today out of the Big Nickel Over G. And again, guys, we go way more in depth on this blitz and, and all the other pressures you can do out of the Big Nickel and the coverages attached to it and everything from it in the defensive guide. There's a link in the description if you want to go get the defense. Um, the full defensive guide is basically done. Um, it's also got, I've got a ton of just material in there right now, and we're kind of reformatting it all into a guide format for you guys so we can walk you progressionally through everything. But what we have in there right now is at least two hours of content that is devoted to teaching the ins and outs of this defense. In addition to that, you can run all kinds of stuff from a coverage perspective out of this defense. This is by far my favorite defense in the game right now. So without further ado, let's jump into the video. And we're talking today about Big Nickel over G. This is in the New York Giants playbook, and we're gonna be using the play cover too. Now, you can find this also in the 46 playbook, and uh, I just prefer the Giants playbook because they have 35 odd, which I really like that defense as well. And they also have, I think, a couple of dime formations that I really like. But anyways, cover two, I would recommend putting a safety at linebacker here for these two positions. You want to make sure that this guy right here is not a D-line ability, so you don't want someone like Zadarius Smith there. You want Rashawn Gary there because he doesn't have an ability. The better, the faster he is, the better agility is even better for this blitz. I use, um, I can't even, I don't even know who I use there um, in Ultimate Two. I think I use Micah Parsons there, but just somebody fast. Anyways, cover two is the call. And we're going to show you this against a couple different uh, perspectives. Like I said, if you want to get the whole defense, it's linked in the description. It's been the major project I've been doing over the last month. This defense has been super good for me, okay? Um, and you can basically use her two different players. So what I like to do is use her the safety because I think it gives you the best pre-snap blitz look. Um, but you can also use her this linebacker, okay? The setup is actually really simple. We're going to pinch our defensive line. We're gonna crash our defensive line down. And then what I like to do is just uh, blitz the left side linebacker and we're going to QB contain, okay? Now, this right here, the blitz is basically set up and it's done, you're done. That's all you have to do. You can use her, this guy, Alexander, or let's say you know you just wanted a simple cover two blitz. This is it, just use her, this guy, and stand about right here. And you'll see that this is gonna get a disengage pressure on the left side and a looping pressure so i'll show you an instant replay why this is so good i like to pass them in as well but anyways you'll see right here you're going to get this disengage really really good pressure right here and this is why we want to stand to the right of the center because it gets the center to go to the right at the snap of the ball really really important and then you'll see here the disengage and then you see the looping contain coming around so you've got two way pressure now this five-man blitz will work against every situation that they do. Um, you'll see right here. Um, I mean, it's just real simple. So boom, 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 done. Um, you just want to make sure that you crash your line down. You have to crash your line down. And then I'll just max protect here. And you should see this looper will still come in because the running back has to pick up the disengage and the looper will come in with consistency. So if you wanted a blitz, five-man pressure against uh, block seven out a bunch, there you go, you can click off the video, right? It's really good pressure. Now, the beauty of this blitzing concept is there's really only three people that are necessary for this blitz to be effective, 
okay? And there's, there's only three people that you need to use. You just need to use the left side of the formation. So what I like to do with this is show blitz, pinch my line, crash my line down. I'm gonna blitz that linebacker on the left. And then, I mean, I'll typically, just because it's easier button-wise, I'll just blitz both linebackers. I already know that I'm going to zone the middle linebacker out, and then I'll QB contain, and I'm gonna grab this safety. Now from here, the blitz is set up, we just need to make our coverage adjustments however we want to make them. So what I do is I drop both safeties on the left and the right, uh, which would be triangle there, Eric Stokes, and then my nickel corner, which is also a safety, Adrian Amos, into outside third. So you see they go into outside thirds. I'm gonna drop the middle linebacker into a deep middle third, just like that. And then I'm going to drop the nose tackle. Um, I'm gonna blitz my user. I'm gonna drop my nose tackle into a three rec, and I'm gonna drop my defensive end on the right side of the screen into a vert hook. If you have time, shade down and recloud the outside guides. That'll make that vert hook play a little better. And then what you'll see here is this three man pressure is still very good. Um, now, part of why it didn't come in was because I took forever to kind of explain everything. So let me show you, just kind of, I'll set it up real quick here. And, um, and uh, we'll be able to, to get it really quickly here for you. So boom, boom, boom. Make sure you contain. Make sure that guy, make sure your blitzer is the only one that's going. And then what you'll see here is a lot of times you're going to get the loop, as you can see. So that's only three, man. Um, that's only three players blitzing uh, to get the pressure. And the other beauty of this is that you still have a very good, um, you still have a very good chance for sheds because of how you set up the rush. So let's say they do pick it up. This defender right here will shed the quarterback. This defender will shed the quarterback. So you have the contained loop to keep them in the pocket. And then you have um, this contain or these two guys shedding, which will work against post ups. You see the disengage is super, super effective. Now I said that this works against max protect and it does. I'll show you that real quick. I'm gonna max protect, boom, boom. Once you get the hang of the setup, it's really not um, I mean, it is a labor intensive setup, but it's still very effective. And, and again, you can simplify it too. You don't have to do the outside third stuff. Um, that's just to help some of the coverage perspective. You don't have to do some of the, some of the other stuff. Okay. But you see there max protect bunch and you're coming in every single time. So this has been, um, like I said, just one of my favorite blitzes in the game. I think that this is, um, truly the pinnacle of defense this year something like something like this right here um, just has been so effective for me and i think it can be very effective for you as well so again just simple three-man pressure um, against the gun bunch and pretty much if they i mean you see i mean if they don't block anybody it's going to be a disengage all day long and it doesn't just work against bunch um, this also works against tight so let's say that you're running uh, gun tight uh, which is a very popular um, very popular audible uh, for people that like to run gun bunch so boom 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 set up my play and then I uh, just needed to bluff blitz that guy and what you'll see here this is slot post a lot of times this will come in um, so every now and then it'll get picked up but a lot of, most generally speaking this is a very successful blitzing concept regardless of the formation that they're going to run doesn't really matter what formation they're going to run um, it doesn't really matter the only thing that matters is if they're using play action or not if they are using play action the blitz will still work for the most part but occasionally um, it will get it will get picked up okay so just kind of keep that in mind but there's other blitzes from this that are really good against play action we teach how to do that um, in the ebook as well as you can see pressure against compression pressure it doesn't matter what side so like let's say they flip their bunch this is another popular concept. This is why I love this blitz. So let's say that they flip their bunch to try to pick this up. Um, like I said, this is a very, very uh, popular concept for people to do. What you'll notice is I'm gonna max protect and this is still gonna come in for the most part. If it doesn't, like I said, you see there, if it doesn't come in like instantly, you're gonna get disengaged sheds really quickly. Um, so, you know, you, you're not, I'm not really worried um, necessarily if they flip their bunch um, I don't change this so like literally this is what we're gonna run every single time um, regardless of formation alignment regardless it's just this very simple so you only really have to learn one setup which is really good and then as you can see right here that loop will come around not coming out around perfectly for me right now but I promise you in game it's a little bit better because you got a little bit better players a little bit better agility um, some of that stuff does help 
uh, with this concept. I'll show it to you one more time, and um, and we'll see if we can get this pressure to come in for you. But like I said, it, this concept right here is super, super effective, um, and you're going to have a lot of success with it. Now, if they're really gonna, if they're gonna flip like that and it's actually gonna pick it up, you can flip your setup. Okay, you can uh, send it off another side. Another thing you can do is if they're giving you a lot of trouble with Max Protect and they're flipping and all that, and they're actually giving you a lot of se serious problems, um, real simply, just in, just keep the keep the defensive tackle blitzing. So if you just keep the defensive tackle blitzing, a lot of times this will help it. There you see, comes loops around against Max Protect Bunch. So you see the idea. So if you ever have any trouble, just turn it into the four-man pressure. Four-man pressure will be fine. Um, you'll still have really good coverage from it. So anyways, guys, this is my favorite blitz in the game. If you want to learn more about this blitz and how you can actually build an entire defense around this one concept, I would really encourage you to get the big nickel stuff in the Patreon. It's really, really good. Best stuff I've done all year by far. And um, I, I think it's just so good. It, it, it aligns perfectly. It has perfect disguise. You can send four or five. You can literally send 10 different blitzes from the same look. And then you can also have probably 50 different coverage shells from it. So this is my favorite defense of the game right now. I can't stress enough how important it is that if you really want to take your game to the next level, to get into the Patreon and learn this defense. This defense is so, so powerful. And when you really understand the principles behind it, it makes it very, very easy to run. Thanks for watching the video. I hope that this was helpful. And if you want to grab this defense in our Patreon, you get everything for just $10 by signing up. There's a link in the description of the video. You can go down, click on that. It'll take you right over to the membership page where you can check out the defense.